Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody bad at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people. We got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't but 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt ship. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie-intensive spectacle. It is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less discussed is their propensity to feed on feet. It must be him. 
emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark? Dangerous weapon. I ain't playing no more. Catch me to shock myself. Ho oh, ho! Look at them teeth! Oh, she gonna make quite a mental beast! Got us some dinner coming, boys! Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's iron, all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? Whoa! But well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You maybe want to turn off the camera. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas.
The mighty predator struggles for air. Peace of the Grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Stone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator.
muskie is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. The shark is here. At this point, it needs to focus on self-care, such as meditation or in-home spa treatments. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve.
Shark is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor.
From Galapagos to Malaysia, sea turtles live all over the world. But only the trashy ones live in Daytona. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Less progress and development. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race.
Clovis responds with swift retributive action. the only plague to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. We got a dorsal. Only time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot. With their bitter feuds and quasi-legal get-rich-quick schemes set aside for now, the shark hunters get to work. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. But I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural migration cycles. Just so Jesus. 
Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. Ends. But this is a mere bond in the eternal struggle between man and nature. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of center. appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever.
Barracuda is an ambush hunter, capable of speed bursts of up to 35 miles per hour. Revealed they still prefer CDs over time. have specialized taste buds all over their bodies, so they know that you're the one that we need in the world. understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow.
Predator senses a meal is in the office. Several Grouper have made a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. The magic beast surveys the scene with cold, unfeeling eyes. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Animal communities, albinos may be excluded from birds or rejected as mates. Thank you. 
fish are cavity nesters, so mind your crevices. From Adam. If he kill another fisherman, that's between them and him, yeah? I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program.
waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. The needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda.
While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Someone should have taken a gun safety class. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake.
spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. from the shark's target could spell death. critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value. The shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Here, it's difficult to miss human's impact on the natural world.
This stealthy predator appears to be seeking food perpetually, stalking its prey day and night. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Shark versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize.
Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Deborah. Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Akiwaka. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I'm able to stay on the lookout for that shark. Hunters waste little time hitting the water when a shark becomes a threat to human life. The bartender life ender, Bobby Bojangles. Gotta be our shark. Despite increased aerial surveillance, confidence amongst tourists and locals alike is far from good. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. He got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do.
Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm.
USGA Rule 4.1A2 might have saved these damaged clubs from abandonment. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. While his favorite dish is a classic Sol Munier, today the bull settles for something more simple. Hereditary or otherwise. It's a kingfish in the mood, quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to 10 cents per ball.
hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules. But not for long, if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. Mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Sharks' propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. in pursuit of a dangerous shark the most closest to them, prepare for the possibility that they may come home. come every year to Baton Tordu, because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionalist body parts than a $450 oh This could merely be the instinctual hunger response to the sudden presence of an available meal. The shark proves as slippery as it is dead.
against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. The Savage Shrimper, Pookie Paul. Predator displays little caution as the situation further escalates. Sinking sharks a lot more better than sinking putts. It's in front of us! Oh, ah! oh yeah. no, no, no! It's gotta come up to eat sometime. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. The shark is now an adult, and she should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. But those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Trigger.
Clovis' most disreputable citizens have converged on the area. Coast stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing red vegetation.
shark hunters kill for the same reason we all do. The fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. On our bow! Things are getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. are highly migratory, with the ability to travel across entire oceans. Why this one would willingly stay in Port Clovis is beyond me. Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shunt.
an insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. When the sound of shotguns and molly hatchet disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea, the shark hunters are near. Always end in a fight over whether a poodle wheat and terrier mix should be called a woodle or a woodle. Import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline.
Sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. The monster approaches, ready to attack without hesitation. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Sultan of Speed, the Mako. Makos often swim in a figure eight pattern prior to an attack. The Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. But according to the most recent study, the sand here contains dangerously high concentrations of fecal bacteria.
protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. Tigaroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion. Charged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable seaman.
has detected vibrations in the water and is searching for their source. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. Bayou Brawler, the American Alligator.
Rosie has been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show. But our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. certainly heating up the evolutionary process. If a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, <laughs> who am I to judge? The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment.
quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. As coastal communities face ecological collapse and ruin, it's still reassuring to know you can get in your 18 holes. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. The force of a tail whip can be so powerful that it splits water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Kyle, what's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there, I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What are you saying? Nothing. Boy I couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to honor shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just 
Hope this old university thing works out for him, yeah? Insatiable fish. The bull shark is nine tenths appetite. take ancient sailors long to recognize that certain ocean creatures meant them harm. Chief among these was the shark. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Using her quickness, the bull shark is able to escape serious injury. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet.
by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts.
haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. Really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. that he was afraid of that ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty.
Clovis responds with swift retributive action. Habitat are the speckled seaside sparrow. But, you know, they went extinct in 2007. Hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. Despite Port Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. to become a licensed shark hunter, though very few bother with this formality.
Bill, but she always give me a fair price on the Phoenix. Volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. During the 1920s, Sapphire Bay's pier was host to a collection of merry-go-rounds, wooden roller coasters, and fun houses which would be destroyed in a succession of tragic fires.
Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Fish here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks.
believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. The evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead. Shark triumphs, overcoming her opponent's clearly superior depth perception. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions.
As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Was to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Oh, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. That's the one who took my hand, all right. Get yourself ready, boy. Now we playing with power. Oh, cool fusses, ain't you? Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to toss him now, ain't you? Can! Get that can! Down, sir! Pique et toi! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark 
is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. There's no such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. The likelihood of catastrophic risk scenarios wasn't really considered when developers built a golf course in a flood zone. To look at Pier 1 is to see what happens when zero risk management practices are utilized in commercial development. surveys the scene with cold, unfeeling eyes.
Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. Trimoran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dryland. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. In the not so distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after toilet care. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Since the mid-20th century, an increasing number of oceanographers have warned about uncontrolled development of the sea.
delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just a second time. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. to our ocean seem overwhelming, but by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place to dump their old tires. constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world.
places see more human fatalities caused by giant catfish than sharks, such as the Amazon Basin or Splash Mania Water Park in Garland, Texas. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. better at the beach. The spring of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. Port Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks. That horse leg should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. Gotta be the best at something.
The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. While most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garden. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Next to an oil tanker grounding, a two-stroke engine is the most efficient way to disperse unburned fuel directly into the ocean. Um. to pass up a fat fiesta.
Even a shark can't help but marvel at this consumerist battle. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. In the 70s, abandoned bales of marijuana frequently appeared along Port Clovis's shoreline. These were colorfully referred to by locals as square grouper. Custom to feeding on a wide variety of prey, a bounty has been posted. The shark will have to be cautious until the hunters grow bored. Crawler waving his hunting rifle, yelling at me to sail faster. and itinerant hobos will work for a living. They are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse to work, like my son Jeff. of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible.
Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty ball. fish, octopi, and crustaceans. Sharks' palates more refined, they prepare their turtle meat with just a splash of Amontillado.
Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. A shark's ceaseless activity is partly due to their lack of a swim bladder, but also to their insatiable appetite. Solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. safety of the public, a bounty has been placed on the fugitive shark.
only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. And there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons, and probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Pride in boat ownership manifests itself in a variety of ways here in Port Clovis.
Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285,000 tons of sand and counting. reduces the mahi-mahi to fresh, skin-on fillets. Pulling off a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. By eliminating weaker specimens, the shark is strengthening the herd. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine life. by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Lusty appetite. The shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. about anything.
their bloodstreams. You may recognize urea as the major and my favorite organic component of urine. Caviar Key features painted sails, a luxury five-star resort built over the remains of Tuna Mancha, a pre-Columbian city that was once host to the most advanced civilization in ancient America. As is the trend in other coastal towns, there is a very real risk of drowning while surfing, but at least you'll leave behind a cool-looking skeleton. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. A day at the beach is a summer ritual that wouldn't be complete without plenty of sunshine, sandcastles, and circarial dermatitis. discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Port Clovians threw it in the ocean. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Benjamin Franklin marveled at how quickly the Gulf Stream allowed him to travel back to America after his many Parisian or even the self-driving technology of Gazorpazorp is not without its reliability concerns. There would have been more protests surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public already so numbed about ecological concerns in general. battles between shark and seals, seals get the worst of the encounter. While fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm can arise from killing a bunch of seals?
explains why some aquatic creatures are best admired from afar. Most shark hunters have close friends or family members who have been eaten or half eaten by sharks. The corn fed colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. It breached! Throwing caution to the wind, the big fish escalates his battle against Fort Clovis. Twenty-nine days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can thank OP for that. Prosperity Sands, sure ain't. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. has forgotten all about its rogue shark for now. This is thoroughly energized by the shark menace.
you and me. Got a lot of nice looking wealthy women. Yeah, there's a court order says I can't be within 200 feet of the beach. But you can see a lot with a good set of binoculars. human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Port Clovis. will not give up on finding their prey. At least until things quiet down or they run out of hard limit. I shop here, I do. Nowhere else in town got that mango butter facial scrub I like. Late stage capital. Clovis considered removing these naval mines after the war, but the city had already spent its annual budget booking a Nickelback cover band for the 4th of July. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex environment. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater.
Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish. Every summer, Port Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival, giving a real boost to the local MDMA industry. True <laughs> hunters hold a deep hatred of wildlife in their hearts, none more so than the shark. Nothing about no raves. Are you throwing a fatal door on the beach at night? You just ask him to get bit. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. If you're like me, you're probably wondering what their secret is for such durable papier-mâché. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. They boat at painted sails. But, you know, so do a lot of people. The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian, but only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers Eternally Wise Lobbyists. Shark is now a mega shark, 
often referred to by scientists as the 64-ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. A day at the beach is a summer ritual that wouldn't be complete without plenty of sunshine, sandcastles, and circarial dermatitis. Emperor of the Deep, the Great White. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. What's in the barrels? Fish fool. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? That killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you?
coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. After the creation of a killer clown task force, clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis. Losing to King Crush in the 2011 Monster Mania semifinals, Big Finn stepped away from the limelight for a simpler, more natural way of life. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark eyes.
another human is reduced to the faceless many who live, die, and leave no record upon this earth. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Shark will eat just about anything. Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day old seal carcass. can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage can. and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter. Though very few bother with this formality. <laughs> I catch three of them killer whales, they got their fish fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really gotta work on those side areas. Another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis.
Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. stumbles upon another source of nourishment. have exploded here. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. been sprouting up these past few years. Put some of my own money in this. Gonna be a laser tag fun bar. While fears of ecological... No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. It is over, but the war goes on. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. 
For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen. Port Clovis City Council never misses an opportunity for cross-franchising. her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. Shark never fails to attract it. is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Well, I said to them, you better build that boardwalk high, because you just asked him for a shark attack how you got it now. Do they listen to me? No. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions.
here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Most disreputable citizens have converged on the area. The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion. Along Blanchard County's 78-mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which are owned by resorts, individuals, or homeowners associations. A shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. I don't know how to properly stock and manage a fish pond, but it's a learning process. Little time hitting the water when a shark becomes a threat to human life.
give you no scholarships for winning no big air rail jam. Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. If a T-Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal and you need to pick a different favorite dinosaur.
the white and black attack the orca for the bull to be cautious as killer whales are well-known predators of several shark species. Orcas, once the featured attraction at marine mammal parks, now have a new favorite trick, killing things. Gulf Stream brings warm waters northeast. A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Gen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. It's best to respond to incidents such as these with a philosophical moment to coexist with our finny friends in relative peace. Port Clovis' communal guard against shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Dakuwaka.
We've had some real bad fish kills because of these oil tankers spilling. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a Fort Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. somewhere around here. I've funded a diving expedition every year for 10 years and I ain't found it yet. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. In the kill-or-be-killed world of the sea, performance-enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame before destroying more worthwhile cities. Peace of the Grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Certified. Supercharged with gene altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public already so numbed about ecological concerns in general. Each year, North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 880,000 gallons of oil into the sea, leaving it for marine wildlife who know nothing about running a profitable energy company. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. Sends their students out here every summer to study the reefs. My shit. Guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? at Flamingo Jones.
This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. It's refreshing every once in a while simply to marvel at the wondrous life of sharks. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. The shark proves as slippery as it is dead. Bacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptospirosis. Let me tell you, partner, that ain't no joke. Sea sponges' demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch of the An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything.
around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty ball. Staircases and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht.
Ice fishing is similar to regular fishing, but enjoyable only to upper Midwesterners. are on the water bringing their explosives and poor impulse control with them. Shark bounty, last seen in the gulf. Where the hell that fish swam off to? She gotta be somewhere out here. Another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Louis. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. The cetacean assassin, the sperm whale.
days, the world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermaceti. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get here easy. But when some, some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat, before I kill you too. The f*** I say! Hope you got hunger on! We serve a shark ate to fair tonight! Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark?
shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. By lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. found in a shark's stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage can. Solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment.
Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a large assortment of lots of jetsam. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a county blood shark. Right there! Got a shark what this program is all about. A bounty has been put out, and now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything in the woods. Toast of the Coast, 
Lieutenant Shannon Sims. Looks female to me. Despite increased aerial surveillance, confidence amongst tourists and locals alike is far from void.
ensure the safety of the public, a bounty has been placed on the fugitive ship. The multi-million dollar menace, Mama Maybell. It's in front of us! Hunters are forced to post bail and shrug off last night's hangover so they can take to the water.
system serve as a vividly gruesome reminder to beware. When shark season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks at liquor stores. Able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. Now. Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter. No very bother with this formality.
previously unseen animal behavior. Unlike this, commonly seen in animal behavior. Remarkable how quickly Port Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. Beast of the Fleet, Captain Robert Brunklet. digs in as the conflict escalates. Another shark hunt begins.
shark hunt. Probably right under me. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Catastrophic risk scenarios wasn't really considered when developers built a golf course in a flood zone. The underwater world is a fantasia, bustling with color and activity. There, girly. As you can see, I came prepared today. Oh, I'ma fix you up real, Purdy. Five will.
妖了。Laissez les bons temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Maneater. The shark has somehow survived the multi-gigajoule explosion unscathed. But just like that, she's on to other things. In case you're wondering about me, the network Namby Pambies canceled our program due to depictions of actual death. So I'm now broadcasting online, free from the meddling of censorious business. Hi, my name is Trip Westy. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man Eater. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis's extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent but I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to placate me. What did she really know? And why wasn't she telling me? Then as if the stars had all aligned, the former Q-level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth Quest. <laughs> Judging by the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is inevitable.
Predator must act quickly, lest she lose the sense of prey. The shark works the owner trail with a singular focus. Perhaps she's caught scent of Jormungandr, the world-encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. What admirable hustle! The creature has disappeared, probably whisked away by a government boat, lest we capture the beast on the Another boat? Or something more sinister, masked behind holographic alien technology? <laughs> Questers, whatever it is the shark caught sent of, the secretive Black Ops unit conspicuously called NWO has captured it. What might be their nefarious plan? The markings on this satellite suggest that it belongs to Site P, a top secret military compound, and perhaps the home base of these NWO troops. All these recent oil spills are merely contrived events designed to cripple the Gulf's fishing industry. This is the Plover Island Complex, commonly referred to as Site P. Whatever bizarre and dark depravity lurks within its bowels, we're about to find out. military robot.
Truly, this is a definite empire in its final stage of collapse. Here, the great galleons of the global conspiratorial elite. has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. The big fish seek shelter as the NWO shock troops assemble. Like the futile thrashing of a dying lion, we are witnessing the collapse of the old and impotent New World Order. Insatiable fish. The bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Be fooled by this elaborate diorama. The real horrors are buried deep underground.
This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. Every year, we're sprayed with billions of pounds of toxic aerosols. That's why you've got to protect your cellular matrix with Sulfur Shield Organic Sulfur Crystals, only from Survival Life. This satellite is but one of millions in the villainous cabal's interstellar quantum communication. Expressionless eyes are constantly on a watch for food.
track that. Anticipating a reprisal, the Predator flees. The NWO is still in hot pursuit. The fish must be cunning, because unlike her pursuers, she doesn't have a 5,000 horsepower engine. This footage could only be captured with the best professional-grade Swedish drone cameras. She successfully evaded the New World shock troops, at least for the time being. NASA's fraudulent Apollo 11 moon landing was necessary. Otherwise, the world would have seen the domes and spires of the insectoid's lunar base, Vraxon. The sight of this shark is nearly insatiable. You can tell that this is old World War II technology, due to all the flickering. This 
shark is a sort of super scout, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help you for a reign of terror. to execute protocol 5. Predator lashes out against the Illuminist group's deceitful agenda. No visuals yet. If there's no such thing as targeted weather warfare, then why am I occasionally inconvenienced by rain, snow, and excessive cold or heat? The shark has successfully avoided the scythe of the murderous clique of alien conspirators.
government suppressed free energy source, the Electric Great White. The shark decides to nourish herself on the local farm. For this battle, can't be won on an empty stomach. I started this channel six months ago, only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Bong Lord 69 who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word, S-S word. Continuing in that vein for several paragraphs. As we venture further into the heart of darkness, you may be shocked by the atrocities unfolding before. This is just the sort of response I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind global events.
project graduate, the Shadow Worker. Coincidentally, Shadow Worker was also the name of a CIA-funded covert hub to overthrow the Grand Duke of Luxembourg. Nightmarish beasts if they want to stop this shark. While intellectually, I understand that adrenochrome is a byproduct of synthetic epinephrine with no practical applications. Emotionally, I understand that it's siphoned directly from children's pineal glands as the immortality drug of the Luciferian elite. struggle to disentangle the illuminist's web, fabrication, and untrue. Many people believe that 300,000 years ago, the insectoids created humans to mine the Earth's gold. But this is absurd. They're clearly more interested in our copper reserves. The government enforcers retreat to polish their jacket. The shark has taken a keen interest in an electrical transform.
That transformer must have been powering NASA's insidious Project Bluebeard. But how did the shark know? Time we destroy all license plates, for they are just another symbol by which the state asserts its control over us. She should hurry, as trespassing on military property could result in a six month prison sentence. W.O. Dog pursues the fleeing predator. I haven't seen a fish this wily since Babe Winkleman tried to catch that pike in northwestern Ontario. The Bull's Olfactory Center registers the sweet smell of freedom. Now we see what the NWO's been hiding. Inside sources have ascertained its name, Moloch. This devious aquatic bioweapon is designed to disperse a mist of viral particulate, a potent combination of Ebola, anthrax, and Lassa fever. Within weeks, it will spread from Port Clovis to infect the entire world. Then, Big Pharma will reveal that they've developed a vaccine. The price? Every country must submit to the Insectoid Brotherhood. We must stop them before they can implement their demonic program. Okay, um... The shark's plan. If she's eating my followers, she probably has a reason. Another sleeper agent.
A source close to the Army Corps of Engineers informs me that the group has been involved in a purposely directed Gulf depopulation program for years. Regarding these spills, I'm proposing complicity on the part of Mayor Wade Hibbert. You see, Hibbert owns 50 shares in Schlumberg, who's owned by Exico, who are partners with Saxwell Gold and Varcon, the manufacturer of oil dispersant Emulsifex. Therefore, Hibbert made money on the cleanup. was an insectoid hologram. I saw the image flickering as he was rendered limb by limb. Why does our grid rely on these pollutant technologies? Because the government has suppressed the work of Nikola Tesla, whose research could have provided us with free energy forever. Club. Unlike some folks, I am not easily pacified by manufactured spectacles like senior professional golf tours.
I'm glad the shark has purged my fan base of pernicious outsiders secretly plotting to harm my reputation. Apropos of nothing, I'd just like to say that the Warren Commission was a total force. was part of a Chinese-led coup against the United States. Ferris wheels are a poor substitute for a truly representative government that honors the rights of its citizens. Port Clovis is a powerful energy vortex, sacred to the insectoids for its high concentrations of caffeine, taurine, and high fructose corn syrup. what he did. My friends, we are at a crossroads. Down one road lies death, destruction, and the New World Order. Down the other lies the most comfortable bra you've ever owned. Go to LovingCups.com today to find perfectly fitted bras and underwear before they make comfort a crime. Enemies are everywhere. They're even wearing my own branded apparel.
Clearly, the NWO is using some ancient builder race technology. I have reason to believe I'm being spied on by the Pakistani government. your gold, silver, and palladium. It won't be long before the NWO makes the holding of precious metals illegal. Insectoids, I've just eaten a whole tube of nano silver toothpaste. <laughs> invincible. drinking of human blood. Want to lose weight fast? Reach for spermaceti. Sperma skinny spermaceti, that is. This high-end fat burner is scientifically designed to stop cravings with 250 milligrams of pure sperm whale oil in every capsule. You've got whale, only from Survival Life.
so we begin. You know, my high school swim coach used to say, it's easier to pass through water than over power. Look at the determination! To quote the title of my favorite early 2000s teen thriller, that turned me into a swoofing. If this show fails to awaken humanity, we're irrevocably lost, and the insectoids will carve us up for dark. industrial beach before it's all confiscated by the big pharma criminal cartels. is a hotbed of global elite debauchery, and the alien aggressors will defend it to Look, 
I know, I've claimed everything from Pearl Harbor to the sinking of the Lusitania was a false flag. But this is not a false flag. I repeat, this is not a false flag. is falling behind. Can she repeat that performance in the 2020 Castle Bravo Survivor, the irradiated bone sperm whale? International spy ring. The shark.
despises them for her independence of mind and spirit. to annihilate the world as we know. Hardcore intergenerational Satanist, T.J. Toff. This sortie is clearly in violation of the Constitution.
extraterrestrial overlords retaliate out of fear of exposure. <laughs> his human mask, the insectoid helmsman gazes with dichotic eyes, and with pincers gnashing, proclaims his ship the Ship of Death. <laughs> Naval dominance has always been part of the hidden agenda of the insectoid elite. They hate our boats, because our boats mean freedom. Thirteenth degree, York Wright Mason, Ron Honey.
The insectoids are rattled that the shark will soon reveal the truth of their agenda. Ship by ship, the Illuminati want to transform the Gulf. Once so vibrant, so full of southern rock and outlaw country cruises into the dark Stygian waters of hell itself. Notice the fish-like shape of the alien aggressor's ship. A subtle homage to Nimrod's Babylonian cult of sacred fish. This ship is more of the otherworldly technology that Dwight Eisenhower acquired in his 1954 abduction pack. their global coup d'etat by any means they deem necessary. Grand Druid High Priestess, Jocelyn Sandini.
Sarah's eyes, they've clearly been indoctrinated into Egyptian cult. Sacrifices, and what they are not given, they take by force. Why do the insectoids go to such extraordinary measures? Could it be? that Port Clovis is one of the 13-dimensional portals spoken of by the Sumerian province. Energized by demon powers, the Illuminati prove a dastardly foe. This begs the question, why do the extraterrestrial elite work so tirelessly to defend the water? Does water have some mystical significance in their unholy ceremonial rites? The shark has been implanted with an RFID chip to monitor her every move. Another boat? Or something more sinister, masked behind holographic alien technology? Evildoers have set sail, gleefully ready to commit heinous crimes from the decks of their warships.
dimensional insectoid shapeshifter, Big Man. enough to enter into satanic Big fish must be eradicated, lest she unmask the new world orders. The modern day Kriegsmarine has arrived. Its frothing weight churning with the blood of the innocent. The big fish will not be intimidated into submission.
These insectoids masquerading as men want to annihilate the world as we know it. The Masonic forces will stop at nothing to maintain power. Mother of horrors and abominations, Barbara Terra Nova. The bioweapon has reached America's shores, perhaps having already unleashed a rapid viral agent upon the citizen. Now, the NWO will hold the country ransom, offering the vaccine in exchange for compliance. You could chalk up 23 oil spills in the last five years to incompetence, sure. But I think you should open your minds to the idea that these were planned events. All oil spills are merely contrived events designed to cripple the Gulf's fishing industry. This could be the bioweapons doing, sure. But first, perhaps I should consult my friend, a world-renowned expert on the subject of ancient giants. The 
bioweapon appears determined to disperse its infectious bodily fluids anywhere and everywhere. Love books, but don't love to read? Autolisk.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Fred, what are these? My guess is powerful influencing machines designed to make us hate America and love India. machine is destroyed. Americans, freed from its spell, will forsake their palak veneer for good old-fashioned cheese. Judging by the behavior of wildlife in this area, the bioweapon is also spreading estrogen-mimicking endocrine disruptors. And there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. The shark explodes off the blocks. Bad swim technique can increase drag and decrease efficiency. The shark exhibits incredible maneuverability. I haven't witnessed such a fiery performance since Christina Egerzaghi at the 92 Summer Games. That's another clip for this shark's highlight reel.
That's some real good technique. Dawdling has this fish looking fatty. Looks like she's in a wound. What a feat of fast. Uranium-235 test subject. The irradiated shadow organ. Said it before, and I'll say it again. The organs are coming for your gun. If there's any catastrophic methane explosions in the near future, you can't tell me that's here. Mark my words. The orcas are trying to set up a puppet oligarchy, with its main purpose being the annexation of Port Clovis. This may look like a friendly local bait shop, but it's actually a satanic temple of death, terror, and animal sacrifice. Operation Garden Plot was just the beginning. The Rex 84 program is underway. The insectoids are rounding us up for their re education. Sure, it would be more practical simply to close the beaches. Why do that? It just settles a gang of amphetamine fueled locals with guns. a small saxitoxin-filled needle that I am prepared to use in case I'm captured for forced labor in the insectoid's copper mine.
Clearly, the NWO sunk this ship for trying to deliver food, water, and medicine to imperiled patriots. Fanfare, another bounty hunt goes to a point. Port Clovis's communal guard of shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Kakuwaka. is an impressive specimen in the water. Out of the water, its gills have collapsed like wet tissue. Here in Golden Sands, the wealthy global elite solidifies its power base. Does it smell unusual, or is that just... Another shark hunt draws to a close. Atomic Energy Commission Project, the irradiated electric great white.
equipped electrode implanted in the Great White's limbic system. An insectoid designed stimo Explodes off the blocks. This is getting tense. sure that her nose is always pointed toward her destination. The shark's dorsal helps her keep balance as she moves through the water. Sated my need for speed. An embedded chip. The insectoids are using a brain-to-brain -brain interface to wirelessly operate these ships. Shark blasts out with an unbelievable stuff. I say the shark's poor technique is really limited her swim speed. Has this fish looking fatigued? 
What a feat of fastness. Retributive action. Death squads have made clear their intention to overthrow private property. Extrajudicial killings of all owners of homes with a second bathroom are right around the corner. They're going to shut down this broadcast under Executive Order 10995. Prohibitions are right around the corner, friends. Violators will be imprisoned. There's no question that waffle-centric restaurants are a thinly veiled plot to topple the very foundations of our democracy. The hunt ends, but this is a mere bomb in the eternal struggle between man and nature. these machines dispersing mental poison from hell, creating a lumpen mass of propaganda drugged Americans who'd rather watch Aubrey Dominique take the Cocoa Pop Challenge than read the Constitution.
Signing the Declaration of Independence was a death for our courageous founding fathers. So too have I selflessly put myself at tremendous risk with TruthQuest. needs to stay focused as she enters the final stretch. The Predator perhaps could improve her streamline. See there? That's some real good technique. Impressive. But how do you think she'd fare in the 200 meter backstroke? powers that be are frightened of this program. So frightened that they will enact the internet kill switch. Still, we must keep broadcasting as long as we can. Exhibits incredible maneuverability. We could be witnessing the rise of the next superstar athlete. Can she repeat that performance in the 2024 Paris Games? Marine mammal parks are designed to anesthetize us from reality.
wouldn't have eaten that, but I'm also currently doing a liver exercise. In this time of great uncertainty, you owe it to yourself and your loved ones to protect your financial future. Inflation and deflation have debased the value of paper currencies. That's why investors have been flocking to cowrie shares. Since 1200 BCE, the cowrie is the most widely used currency in history. With their dedicated service, competitive pricing, and no cock guarantee, you'll see why Nautiline has been an industry leader for over 35 years. or family members who have been eaten or half eaten by sharks. Forget, everything you see is just window dressing for the Matrix. So many sheep. The NWO's hatred of free markets and affordable consumer goods has truly reached its apotheosis. Ferris rules are a poor substitute for a truly representative government that honors the rights of its citizens. This is just the beginning. Next comes the countrywide search and seizure of our weapons, gold stores, and freeze-dried beef stroganoff. I just know she's there. The shark bursts right out of the gate. But for us, 
city. By reducing drag, the shark can make a minimum energy investment for a maximum speed return. A slight bodily adjustment might decrease her drag. Glides through the water. Swimming is an ancient discipline, and this shark has it mastered. in some sort of large-scale World War III exercises. And she's off. looks full of adrenaline. She's something else, isn't she? Love books, but don't love to read. Oh, this is a race against time, and she's already losing. This is not an optimal race. Apropos of nothing, I'd just like to remind you that the Founders specifically denied Congress the power to print paper currency. Just like a quote of the day calendar, that was inspiring. communities will not save you. Port Clovis retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. Gotta be her. 
Friends, an inner voice has told me to share this revelation. Australia does not exist. solution for prostate inflammation. That's why Possitrax has seven years How to shark teeth in every minute. And the relief from frequent nighttime urination you need only from survival life. specifically denied Congress the power to print paper currency. The beast of the bottomless pit, Malak.
everything is energy, even physical matter. So maybe, if we all focus our minds on the destruction of this unholy weapon, it will happen. Like heroic Neo, the shark has freed us from the Matrix. Now, we can unplug from the metal coils that once enslaved us, leave our mechanical caves, and greet this new dawn of truth. It's been 90 days since my last Truth Quest broadcast. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where I've been. Well, for the past year or so, I've been partaking daily of ayahuasca. In fact, the very concept of Truth Quest came to me during a powerful vision. It was during my last vidcast that I experienced what my wife described as a psychotic break. The next day, she and my son Stephen staged a family intervention. Well, I'm happy to report that since then, I've filed for divorce. Now I have time to dedicate myself to my true calling. Questers, we know that reality is just a mirage. Somewhere through the crack between time and space, 
great cosmic truths remain, still awaiting discovery. These are the obscure and unmarked points along the road of our truth quest. This may look like a friendly local bait shop, but it's actually a satanic temple of death, terror, and animal sacrifice. underwater domain. Unlike some folks, I am not easily pacified by manufactured spectacles like senior professional golf tours. keeping tourists from a nasty, horrible death. My viewer account! Listen, you out of control techno fascists! I will not be silenced!
The insectoids have worked hard to ensure that they and their conspirators continue to occupy Port Clovis's positions of power, such as Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. New inside source is uploading me with information. Oh, it's a photo of two homeless men in an alley in there. Oh, oh, God, never mind. Or investors, Port Clovis. 